Hey fam, welcome back. In today's video, we have another fun unboxing bonanza. I have both my premium and luxe boxes to unbox with you, and I also have my very last two dossier fragrances to unbox with you this month. I am so excited to see what came from BoxyCharm, and I'm even more excited to see the last two scents from dossier. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and stay tuned. We're gonna get into it right now. Let's go ahead and start with Dossier. And before we get into the two fragrances for this month, let me tell you a little bit about the brand. Dossier is a perfume house out of Gras, France. They use locally sourced ingredients from Gras, France to create their scents. They use inspiration from designer scents to create affordable replications, ranging from $29 to $49 a bottle. I have tried six of Dossier scents and I have been so into every single scent I've tried, which is surprising because I find myself a little bit picky with perfumes. Dossier is vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free. They have an amazing return policy. They actually allow you to try the scent for 30 days and if you don't like it, you can return it to the brand for a full refund. Dossier also used to include sample fragrances with their perfumes so that you could try the sample and return it if you didn't like it. However, in an effort to be more environmentally sustainable, they have done away with the little plastic samples and now you can try the full size bottle of perfume risk-free for 30 days. And if you love it, obviously you keep it. And if you don't love it, you can return it to the brand for a full refund within that 30 day window. The fragrances from Dossier are perfumes with 18% concentration. So you know they're gonna give you a nice long wear time. And I love how affordable they are when compared to luxury scents that range from like $100 to $300, Dossier is only $29 to $49. I love combining Dossier with BoxyCharm because both of these brands offer a great value for your money. And I am all about saving that coin. So without further ado, let's see what our scents are for this month. So let's go ahead and start with our first scent. I have no idea what these are, but they are our last two. So sad. Oh, so this one is Woody Sage. So the top notes of this one are fig tree and grapefruit. The middle notes are marine notes and ambrette, and the base notes are clary sage and amberwood. Oh, nice. Okay, this one is inspired by Joe Malone, Wood Sage, and Sea Salt Cologne, and the concentration is 18%. I have never smelled a Joe Malone scent in person. However, I have to say that the Joe Malone inspired scents from Dossier have definitely ranked among some of my favorites. So this is Woody Sage, and we are gonna try it out. So we will put it on this wrist. Let it kind of air out a little bit. Stop. Okay, first of all, I'm in love. It is delicious. It's light. It's so sexy. I love it. It's got like an earthy, natural scent. Oh my gosh. Would you guys be interested in a Dossier perfume ranking video? I have been thinking about this for a while and especially now that I'm smelling this one, Oh my gosh, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but I wanted to find out if you guys would be interested in that. I now have eight scents from Dossier. Would you like to see them ranked? I think it might be fun, but I definitely want to get your feedback. I'm obsessed with this one, Woody Sage. So this one is inspired by Joe Malone, Wood Sage, and Sea Salt. If you like light, fresh, earthy smells, not too sweet, not too floral, very easy, like not a headache in sight, oh, where you just smell like crisp and light and delicious, this one, this one. I am obsessed. I am so in love with this scent. Oh my goodness. And let's see what our second scent is. Okay, last one. It's the end of an era. I'm so sad. <laughs> I love these so much. So this one is called Gourmand Patchouli. The top notes are mandarin, berries, passion fruit. The middle notes are patchouli, honey, and plum. And the base notes are caramel, vanilla, and cocoa. All of that sounds delicious. Oh, this one is inspired by, this is so exciting, Thierry Mugler, Angel Eau de Parfum. Oh my gosh. I am so in love with the Thierry Mugler alien inspired dossier scent, and I am so excited for another one. Let's check out Gourmand Patchouli. I'm gonna put it on this wrist. Wow. Okay, this one is very different. Ooh, okay. So on first spray, I was a little concerned because it was like everything I don't tend to like about perfume. It was very musky. It was very like, not very sweet, but as it sits on your skin, like when you actually go to smell it, it's very sweet. It almost has like a dessert smell, but there's something a little bit masculine about it, almost like a tobacco or like a cigar-y something mixed in. Again, I am not a perfumer. 
mandarin berries and passion fruit i definitely smell that caramel vanilla and cocoa that is very strong the base notes patchouli honey and plum i wonder if it's the patchouli i don't know what in this would give it that kind of like you know like a sweet i shouldn't say a cigar more like a, a pipe like a tobacco pipe how does it like cherry kind of smell there's like the slightest little like undercurrent of that that kind of like makes it so much more sophisticated and beautiful I would wear this in the evening, maybe out to dinner. I smell the berries, I smell the plum. This one is so beautiful. And it's completely exotic and different to everything else that I have. If you are into more light, fresh, clean, kind of natural scents, I would definitely go with Woody Sage. If you are into sweet and sexy, dessert-like, warm and sensual scents, I would go with Gourmand Patchouli. These are incredible so excited i feel like the luckiest person on planet earth to have so many beautiful scents from dossier i'm so grateful to dossier for sending these over to me i am so in love with this entire collection please do let me know if you guys would like to see a ranking video it's going to be like super hard for me because <laughs> i have been so impressed legitimately impressed by every single one of these scents that i've tried i'm sure i have a favorite and a least favorite and that's what I think would be fun about the ranking video. But it's kind of neck and neck because there's not a single one I've tried that I have not liked. And like I said, that's not like me for perfume. I think most perfumes I smell, it's they're not my favorite. And it takes a bit for me to find one that like I really love. So I'm so impressed that Dossier has managed to cultivate scents in such a way that they are so approachable, so delightful, so delicious. I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled. Thank you so much again to Dossier for these amazing fragrances. Now let's go ahead and check out what BoxyCharm sent this month. And we're going to start with my premium box. BoxyCharm Premium is a monthly subscription. It retails for $35 and includes six full-size products, two of which you get to choose during the choice window. So first for a little peek. The first thing that I see in the box is our card for this month, which is BoxyCharm BTS. I'm assuming that's back to school since it's September. And this card does provide all of the products and pricing, which we will go over at the end. And the first product that I see in the box is from Beauty Bakery, nicely bubble wrapped. And this is the Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. It comes with this little sleeve. And then these are the shades. We've got a pink highlighter, a white highlighter, a peach, and a bronze. As beautiful as this palette looks, I don't tend to reach for highlighting palettes that often. And I really want to try it. Like, I really, really want to try it. But I may put this aside for a giveaway. I'm going to think about it. No promises. But this might be in my next giveaway. I think it's beautiful. I'm excited for it. But will I use it? Do I have space for it? Will I reach for this often? I don't know. Only because I do tend to reach for individual highlighters a little bit more. So we'll see. I'll probably put this in my giveaway just because I'm trying to be realistic about my collection. And if I do, one of y'all is going to be very lucky because this looks absolutely gorgeous. The next product that I see in my box is from Complex Culture. This is the Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. And this is what the product looks like. I believe you unscrew the bottom. I think that's how you turn it on and off. Maybe you unscrew the top? No, that's not it either. I was right the first time you unscrew the bottom and I believe there is space in there for one or two batteries and then this should vibrate. It does unscrew on the bottom, but then as soon as you get it tight, this bottom part like loosens and tightens. So I'm thinking that's how you turn it on and like increase the vibration. But you can actually use this tool to like push skincare into your face, to massage your face. I'm actually kind of excited about this. I don't know if this has like electric current technology. Like I love New Face. I don't own one, but I've gotten the treatment at like Hand and Stone. I think it's really cool. So we'll see. I don't tend to reach for products like this very often. I have a couple tools and I never, ever reach for them. But because this one vibrates, I'm kind of curious about it. We'll see. We'll see. The next product that I see in my box is from Bloom Effects. This is the Tulip Dew Mist Fragrance Free Hydrating Mist. So I'm guessing this is just something you can like spray on your face before skincare, especially if you're using something like hyaluronic acid. I would probably start with like a hydrating mist. I like the fact that it's this Tulip Dew Mist. I wonder if this is that same brand that has that big tulip farm. I know that there was a product a couple boxes ago that was a moisturizer made from tulips. So I'm wondering if this is the exact same brand. I know they had like a big like tulip farm, I wanna say over in Europe. So this is pretty cool. Though we have gotten a bunch of facial sprays recently. Just saying. The next product I see in my box, I'm actually really excited about. This is from Verb and this is the Ghost Oil. It's a smoothing Moringa blend and weightless hair oil. So believe it or not, my hair does not look too crazy today. Somewhat in part to this other product that I ordered from Pop-Up. Spoiler, 
but this is the Quick Slick Hair Essence from Insert Name Here. This is great to like slick back the, like the little wispy baby hairs that I get flying around here. This has been pretty cool, but I love getting hair oils. I've been currently using the Earth Harbor one I keep talking about. I can't remember what it's Sunset something. I'll like insert the name here. Ha, insert name here. Okay, I see what you did there. I've heard really good things about this product. I think it's like a really popular product. So I'm really excited. My hair can use all the moisture it can get. My ends are always dry, so I love adding oil, especially to my ends. And so I'm excited. I think this is a product I'll definitely get use out of, and it's gotten some great reviews. So this is pretty exciting. And I believe the last two products in the box were my choice products. First is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Glotion, and it says this is a skin perfecter. So I think this is kind of like other glotions where it's like a moisturizing, glowy product that you could put on either as a base if you wanted to do like one of those like no makeup makeup looks, just add a little bit of glow to your skin. I'm sure you could use this as a highlighter or mix it in with foundations if there's one that's maybe a little bit too matte. I've really liked the Rainforest of the Sea line from Tarte so far, the products that I've tried. So I'm definitely excited to get this in the box. And then the last product was another choice product. This is the Rhubarb and Rose Creamy Lip and Cheek Palette from Seraphine Botanicals. And apparently this was made exclusively for BoxyCharm and it is cruelty free and vegan. So here is the palette. And when I saw this, I knew I had to make it my choice. I love all these beautiful cream blushes. I'll probably use these exclusively on my cheeks and not on my lips. I don't tend to go into a palette for lip products, but to see all these beautiful cream blushes in one beautiful palette, I absolutely felt like this fit my preferences. I was also excited to try this brand. I've never tried them or heard of them before, but these blush tones looked absolutely beautiful. So let's go over some prices. So first we have the Seraphine Botanicals Rhubarb and Rose Creamy Lip and Cheek Palette, which retails for $45. Next we have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Sea Glotion Skin Perfector, which retails for $32. Next we have the Bloom Effect Tulip Dew Mist, which retails for $34. Next we have the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighting Palette, which retails for $38. Then we have the Complex Culture Beauty Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager, which retails for $58, my goodness. And then last we have the Verb Ghost Oil, which retails for $18. So overall, I think that was a pretty good premium box. We had a nice mixture of hair products, makeup, skincare, tools. I like the mix of three makeup products and then one skincare, one tool, and one hair product. I think it was a really nice mix and the products were pretty exciting. Now let's see what's in store for Lux. Boxy Lux is a quarterly subscription that replaces your Boxy base box during the months of March, June, September, and December. Lux retails for $50, includes eight full-size products, two of which you get to choose during the choice window. So first we'll do a little sneak peek. And the first thing that I see in the box is the card, which oddly for Lux is Fall Lux. This is the first time I haven't seen a consistent theme across all of the boxes with BoxyCharm, so that's a little different. All of the products and prices are listed on the back, which again, we will go over at the end. So the first product that I see in the box is this contour palette from Cab Cosmetics. I did receive an email from BoxyCharm that they accidentally sent me the wrong shade in this palette, but that they are sending me a replacement palette in my correct tone. This is the volume two palette and I could not be more excited because if y'all don't know, when I do my giveaways, I like to do different boxes for different skin tones so that I'm sure that I'm representing as many of you as I possibly can. So this is the contour palette. And as you can see, this palette will be perfect for a medium to deep skin tone. So definitely look forward to seeing this in my next giveaway. And most likely when they send me the volume one palette, I will also be putting that aside for one of y'all. The next product that I see in my box is this one from Out Outra or Outre. This is a shampoo plus CBD and a conditioner plus CBD. So this is a little different. I've never received a shampoo and conditioner from BoxyCharm, but these are pretty decent sized bottles. I'm really excited to check these out. I'm curious what CBD can do in a shampoo and conditioner, but give it a try and I'll let you guys know. The next product was one of my choice products and that is this set of MAC lashes. They come in like a nice hard plastic case. This is the Goddess Lash. And this is what the style looks like. I've never tried MAC lashes before, but it looked really interesting. I go through lashes so quickly. I'm always using them, so I thought this would be a good choice for me. And I really like this like sturdy carrying case. That's really cool. The next product that I see in my box is the Lifestyle Co. Bamboo Body Polish. So I'm thinking that this is like a sugar scrub or something like that. It's vegan, paraben-free, sulfate-free. It says scoop between fingers, apply to wet skin, and gently massage in a circular motion, focusing on the rough areas. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry for soft, moisturized skin. So let's see. Okay, so this does not come sealed, just to let you guys know. It says it's 100% natural. Bamboo stem extract, jojoba oil, and aloe vera. So that sounds like really good ingredients. The next product that I see in the box is this one from Saturday Skin. This is the Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream. I'm guessing this is a moisturizer. Unveil Your Luminosity, a soft and luminous cream with encapsulated probiotic activated by 
prebiotic for healthy and radiant looking skin. It says probiotic power whipped cream benefits, four times probiotic to boost the look of a healthy complexion, two times prebiotic to activate the full power of a probiotic infusion, multiple benefits, niacinamide helps to improve texture, tone, and radiance in skin. So this actually sounds delightful. The benefits of that product sound really exciting, so I'm excited to try it. The next product in the box is this one from Grace and Stella. This is the Shh, Let's Just Sleep Sleep Mask. It's a hot and cool gel bead eye mask. That sounds actually pretty cool. It is sealed on both ends. It sounds like it's one of those gel masks that you can put in the refrigerator or what you do, oh yeah, the microwave for 10 to 15 seconds for warmth, or I guess you can put it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes, it says. So that's pretty cool. I know coolness can be good for depuffing. I don't know what warmth can do. Maybe if you have a headache or tension around your face, that can help relax your muscles. I'm excited to try this. This is not something that I have already, and it's something I can see the benefits of, especially for like a self-care night. Maybe like Netflix and this little gel mask. Sounds good to me. And this next product is hysterical. <laughs> This is a BoxyCharm branded beauty washing machine. It's battery operated, easy to use, lightweight and portable. Hysterical, y'all. <laughs> it's like one of those little like viral washing machines that I'm sure everybody saw on like Instagram. It says you can use it with brushes or sponges. Fill with warm water to fill line, power machine on with button to start cleaning. Can be used for blenders and makeup brushes. And then you can drain the water using this little hose and you rinse it out before your next use. Would you guys be interested in a video on this? <laughs> This is so funny. Like little Joy, like little like elementary school Joy would love this for my Barbies. Like I would have freaked out to have a mini washing machine for my Barbie dolls. <laughs> I loved Barbie. And climbing trees and mud pies and forts and everything. I was like a tomboy except for Barbie. This is hysterical. <laughs> Definitely let me know if you guys wanna see this in action. And then the last product in my box is my other choice product. This is from Rare Beauty and this is the Confident Energy Palette. And opening this up, I'm not confident I don't have a broken shade. <laughs> Eek. Yep. I had a feeling when I saw like brown powder all over the place. It looks like there's some bigger chunks though. And I can easily just use an eyeshadow brush and sweep this little pigment back into its pan. And it should be pretty easy to repress. But the other shades do look nice. I don't want to take the sleeve off because I'm afraid it's going to make a huge mess. But... I'll take care of her, she'll be all right. This is a full shimmer palette. We've got a green, a blue, a brown, a gold, a white, and a pink. I've never tried Rare Beauty's formula. And once I clean this thing up, I'll have to let you guys know what I think about it. Now let's go over some prices. So first we have the Rare Beauty Confident Energy Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $25. Next we have the MAC Cosmetics 84 Goddess Lash, which retails for $18. The Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Probiotic Power Whipped Cream retails for $57, goodness gracious. But it did sound like the claims were really good on this product. The Cab Cosmetics Contour Palette retails for $60, which is going to one of y'all. The Otre Best Bud Shampoo and Conditioner Duo retails for $66. That is so expensive, especially for such tiny little bottles, 33 bucks a bottle. Goodness gracious, I hope this is like a miracle worker. The BoxyCharm Beauty Washing Machine, they're saying retails for $40. Moving on, the Lifestyle Co. Bamboo Body Polish retails for $49. That is so expensive. Why is everything so expensive? It's got bamboo stems, jojoba oil, and aloe vera. <laughs> what? Why is this $49? I can't. And lastly, we have the Grace and Stella Hot and Cold Gel Bead Eye Mask, which retails for $18. So overall, I can't say that this is like my favorite Luxe box. I don't know if I feel like I got like $50 of value out of this. There are definitely some exciting products. Are they ones I would pick out for myself? Maybe not. It was definitely very diverse though. We had a lot of different kinds of products, things I've never received before, like the shampoo and conditioner set, which is kind of exciting. The moisturizer does sound really good from Saturday Skin. The body polish is a little sus for four ounces of product made from fairly inexpensive ingredients. The washing machine is hysterical. I'm kind of happy that I got, that I got it just because I think it's so cute and so funny. I really like the gel eye mask. I think that's kind of cool, especially like I said, for like a self-care night, like a Netflix and chill kind of night. So yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at it, but I don't know that it feels super luxurious to me, if I'm being honest. So those were our BoxyCharm boxes for this month. What did you guys think? Were you excited for these products? Were you, <laughs> were you side-eyeing them a little bit like I was? <laughs> Overall, I think the most exciting products this month were from Dossier, personally. But I'm grateful and I'm happy to get so many products for ultimately about $85. I still love BoxyCharm. I still think they're a great value. I still love pop-up and add-ons the most. But it is exciting to get a little surprise every month. It's 
always a little pick me up, something to perk up my day. Overall, I'm happy, but I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below. I thank you all so much for being here with me today. I love you all so much. And until the next video, 